Okay, so I had a request for a little walkthrough on how I set up my light dependent resistor and LED program. Um, first of all, massive shout out to Adafruit, without whom this wouldn't be possible because the whole electronics of it was somewhat beyond me. It's a really elegant solution um, and absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to work from the top of the board down um, in the hope that that makes things as easy as possible to follow on the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect up my ground. So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to connect that to the minus rail on the breadboard here. Once that's done, I'm going to put in my red LED. So I connected that to pin 17, which is this one here. Um, you might note I'm using the, the Pi Leaf um, overlay for the GPIO pins. It's really, really handy. It's just a simple PDF. Print it out, cut it out, press it over the holes, and you're never at a loss as to which pin is which. Um, for the ease of use, I'm going to keep that in 17 there as well, just because that helps matters. So with that in there, I'm then going to put my resistor for the LED across the break in the breadboard. And then fit the LED, and I want the shorter leg of the two, can't really see that here, but the shorter leg will go to the ground rail. It goes in like that. Uh, very much similar for the green, I use pin 22. So, oh dear, I've already been inconsistent, we'll put that in there. So I'm now not working down the board, I'm working up the board. Resistor in. 22 again on the other side. Check which is the shorter of the two legs. And that goes to the ground rail. <coughs> right, that's all the simple stuff set up. So let's get to the exciting stuff. Now, first, I need to put some power through. So we're going to use the 3.3 volt power from the Pi, and that's this top one here. Uh, and I put that into phone number four five in there and then here comes the light dependent resistor and that's going to cross the brake across the breadboard um, it's a little bit hard to see I know because I've still got a very long wire on this but that's because at some point I want to fit this to the biscuit tin in the office right with that in place we now then take the signal back to the Pi so connect that there and I used pin 18, which is on the other side, just here. Right, so far, fairly straightforward. This is where the clever bit comes in, and that's where you connect the capacitor to the ground rail, and that's used by the Adafruit code to detect whether or not there's any light on the resistor and where its resistance is. Um, the capacitor is exactly the same as the LEDs, the short leg, can't really see it there, but the short leg goes to ground. Plugs in there, that plugs in there, and that's it. It's all set up and ready to run the Python code on my GitHub page.